so strong, Key. Edgy, are you really gonna fight these guys? Look, if we don't enter this thing, we won't be able to get to the guy that stole the medicine. <sighs> <sighs> yes, fighting them as a normal man could be difficult. But if you fight as yourself, Edge, they should pose no problem. I assume you know what I'm implying, yes? If I make full use of my martial arts, blade techniques, tactics, I won't lose to anyone on this planet. I'm sure of it. Yes, they would all be techniques unknown to the people of Roke. But once the battle is finished, all the spectators will know the truth. They will realize that you are different from them. Yeah, they sure will. If I go through with this battle, my actions could very well turn out to be the catalyst that changes Rope's entire future. Just like what happened on that alternate Earth. Just thinking about it makes me shiver. I feel like I want to run away right this second. Are you saying you would just let Raimi die? No! It's just... I have no idea what could happen as a result of my actions here. And that scares me. <sighs> Very well. I'll enter the tournament. Huh? You're gonna fight, FaZe? Yes. After all, our friend's life depends upon it. I'm sure you're familiar with the pain of losing people, Lemel. Yeah. I know all about that kind of pain, too. Losing friends is really, really difficult. I freely admit I'm not fit to judge what's right or wrong here, but I refuse to just sit around feeling sorry about it. So I'm going to fight, for real, and whatever the outcome, I will take full responsibility for it. Faze. Edge, the only reason I'm able to make a decision like this is because I've come so far studying you. I don't know what happened to you that made you feel like this, Edge. But I do know, if you stand to lose something important because of your fear of the unknown, it's far more noble to push ahead, no matter how hard it is. Well, actually, I borrowed that from Miss Elena, too. You told me that too, Bacchus, didn't you? Did I say such a thing? <sighs> Are you sure about this, Edge? I am scared about what might happen. Frankly, I'd still rather just run away from it all. But the thought of losing Raimi scares me even more. I can't tell you how important she is to me. We grew up together. So yes, I'm sure. Good luck. And don't forget, Edge. On the road you travel, your friends walk right alongside you. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Stampede Slash! Rising 
You've got something that belongs to the king. Hand over the remedy and the raw materials. <laughs> what are you talking about? Show me some proof. <laughs> You gonna give him back or not? Answer me! F fine T take it all! I d just, just, just don't kill me! I only got my advance, but that's better than dying! Advance? Did someone hire you to steal the remedy? I yeah. Look, I don't even know who they are. All I know is they wanted to stop the distribution of the medicine. Hmm. What the hell? This ain't no place for fancy folks! Clear the way! Under orders of the king! Now this is what I came here for! Didn't I... see you at the castle? I am Lias Warren of the Royal Knights. And you are Master Edge Maverick, yes? Take him away! Sir! Sir. <laughs> Man, the Black Eagle's spineless! You may leave the rest to us. Thank you. By the way, the Marauder said he was hired by someone. I don't mean to interfere in your affairs, but you may want to investigate that. What? You managed to get that much out of him? No wonder one of the Sacred Wings calls you her companion. Plebeians such as us can't hold a candle to you. No, I haven't done anything. No need for humility. We sallied forth to the Colosseum upon reports that the Black Eagle was holed up within. But we did not expect that you would arrive so much earlier than us. Please accept my apologies. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. Why apologize? What is a knight to do when a hero expresses regret to him? H hero Many throughout the kingdom suffer from stone sickness this very moment. Your actions have saved them. As well as all those that may yet fall ill from the disease. Those are truly actions befitting a hero. I am certain His Majesty, our King, would say the same. Uh, here's the medicine. Take it, please! I have been ordered to provide you the remedy with utmost priority, Master Edge. I see. Thank you very much. Show your respect to this valiant warrior. What? This man recovered the sickness remedy not only for his friend, but for the kingdom as well. He is a true hero! No, I'm not. I'm no hero. Really. Please, stop. I didn't mean to do anything here. All I wanted was to see Brainy. again. Riri was like a rock, but now she's back to Squishy, Key. Has she recovered? Uh... <sighs> yes, Raimi. It's me. Edge. Did something... bad happen to you? What? what are you talking about? Not at all. Nothing bad. But now that you're better, I... I see. Sarah? Yes, 
I'm traveling along with your friends now. I'm very happy that you're doing well. By the way, how is it that you recovered? <gasps> Wait a second. What do you mean by that? Ray Ray got all better because of the medicine, okay? Well, yes. The remedy does cure stone sickness, of course. But the problem is, it doesn't usually happen this quickly. Hmm, what you say is true. Huh? Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you're well too. I don't like to see anyone turn to stone. It's just, what would you call it? Curiosity? Everything about your sickness was very unusual. From the short incubation period to how slowly it progressed. So I was just a little curious, that's all. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't upset you. No, it's okay. I suppose keeping secrets isn't the best idea. Raimi? Edge. I'm sorry. I'd hoped I could just keep all this to myself forever. What are you talking about? Let me guess. Does this have something to do with the mark that showed up on your neck a moment ago? Oh. So, you have seen it. All right. I guess I'll explain everything. Our homeworld, Earth, suffered radiation contamination on a massive scale, making it uninhabitable for normal humans. Scientists performed endless experiments looking for some way, any way, to adapt us to the severe environment. One of those experiments was called Project Hope. It was a plan to create a race of superhumans able to thrive under the harshest conditions imaginable. Earth was once home to an ancient race with extraordinary survival abilities. Using their DNA, some special children were born, the Seeds of Hope. They possessed supernormal abilities, but the experiment produced only three successes. I happen to be one of them. The second is Crow. Crow? And the third one... The third one is you, Edge. Me? Normally, our bodies are no different from those of natural humans. But when we're faced with crises or when we experience strong emotions, the crests on our bodies activate and we gain access to supernormal powers. Hasn't it ever happened to you, Edge? Now that you mention it... My capacity for adaptation is especially strong. Whatever environment or disease I come in contact with, my body adjusts to it on its own. The reason my incubation period was so fast and the progress of the disease was so slow is because my body was attempting to adapt. And the reason the remedy cured me so quickly is because those powers of adaptation stimulated the healing process. Remember what I said to you before, Edge? That something like this couldn't kill me? <gasps> Even if the entire world fell to an incurable pandemic, I alone would survive. That's what it means to be one of the seeds of hope. We aren't normal human beings. <gasps> and this ancient race of people are the Mu? When the Cardinon said, direct descendants of the Mua, that's what he was talking about. Yes. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you all are talking about. But I can tell that it probably wasn't something I should have brought up lightly. I'm terribly sorry. Not at all. It was kind of relieving, actually. Lim? 
I don't really get it either, Kay. But Ray Ray... You're still Ray Ray, right? You're still the Ray Ray we've been with all along, right? That's all that matters, Kay. I didn't know what to do when you were saying all those weird things, Kay. <laughs> Edge, Raimi, you're both my friends and that's all that matters. From the moment you saved me to the very end. Mary. I have nothing particular to say either. It remains a fact, after all, that meeting you two has brought warmth to my cold steel body. I... you almost seem bashful, Bacchus. I believe this is my cue to exit. I'd rather you not see my own bashful face, so I will say nothing. Well then, I suppose we'll be going too. Good night, Kay. Well, I... Well, uh... Sleep tight, you two. <sighs> Edge, are you mad at me? No, that's not it. It's just... well... it's a bit of a shock. Seeds of hope, huh? That's what they called us. They were counting on us to bring hope and happiness to mankind, but... I hate it. I hate what it's given me. Raimi... Back when I was little, some of my friends took me to play in one of the forbidden areas. We didn't think much of it. But... We were contaminated. All of us. Irradiated so badly we had no hope. My friends all died in terrible pain from the contamination. But... This power of mine... It just refused to let me die. The adults all blamed me. Said it was my fault. She's a monster, they said. She's not human. Raimi, stop. Why the hell did you survive? You should have died like them, screaming in pain. That's enough. But then, Mom and Dad told me the truth. They told me, it's okay, you're going to bring happiness to us all. But how? Who could I possibly make happy? Someone like me. Someone who can live without a care in the world. Raimi. Edge. Raimi, you make me happy just by being alive. And I know Crow would say the same. My power isn't anything special at all. But... You're different. Everyone suffering from stone sickness here will get the medicine they need because of what you've done. So please, stop looking so sad. You can accomplish something. I know it. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. Sooner or later, the old edge will come back. <sighs> you've never... I'm sorry. I do need more time. But... Thank you. I feel a little better.
Don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. Huh? <laughs> hey, man. Pretty nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know. You think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That sword of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? <laughs> why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? How about you hand that thing over? Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look. This sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. What? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly respect it. Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over! Yeah. Ugh, you little bastard! Ugh, ugh. <laughs> who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little... Alright, that's it. You're gonna die, man! Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot-free. Well, well. Fate connects us, boy. You... you're... Muria Tionesis. Not that you need remember, of course. Ah, uh, no. Thank you very much, Muria. This is the second time you've saved me. I don't know about the Cardianon, but you don't seem like the sort that would have trouble with mere hooligans. Well, I, uh... But that's beside the point. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, boy. I never imagined I'd run into you here, of all places. What luck. Um, and what is it you want to ask me? I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes. And I thought you might have some idea of where I might find him. The man I seek was on a ship that looks much like yours. What? As I recall, he wore clothes much like yours as well. Oh. I believe he's an Earthling. Just like you. An Earthling with red hair. <sighs> and, I tell you this, boy. He will die by my hand. Crow? Wh why would you want to... Oh? So it's Crow, is it? The name of the man I'm going to kill. Tell me, boy. Where can I find him? I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Hmm. Your eyes were so lifeless when you fought those thugs. 
Who would have guessed they could show such fire? But I honestly wonder, would you still look at me that way if you knew what the red-haired man did to me? What did he... What did Crow do to you? He... He killed my beloved. That wretched man destroyed my life. Nonsense. What makes you so sure, boy? Because Crow's my best friend! Look, I may not be able to believe in myself right now, but I still believe in Crow! Uh. Crow would never do anything to hurt anyone! He's incapable of it! I don't understand you. You believe in that man more than you believe in yourself? What are you saying? <sighs> not just him. All of my friends. Right now, they're all I have to believe in. No matter what you say, boy, I can only believe what I've seen with my own eyes. I despise the red-haired man, and I will exact my revenge on him. Muria! Once my business on this planet is finished, I think I'll have to follow you. If you believe in this man so much, boy, then I have no doubt you'll eventually lead me to him. This hour? What is it? It's Sarah! She's like, disappeared! Oh. So Sarah's... What?! What in the...? It wasn't me, really. I mean, sure, sometimes I may drool a little, but still. Mary, um... <gasps> How about you, Raimi? Are you feeling better? Yes, I'll be fine. I'm more worried about Sarah right now. Sari... She got kidnapped. Forgive me. I should have had my anti-personnel sensors activated. It's okay. Everyone was tired yesterday. Speaking of everyone, where's FaZe? He's out gathering information. I suspect this involves the men who assaulted Miss Sarah. Bacchus's instincts would seem to be accurate. Did you find something? Yes. The man who found this feather claims to have witnessed several people carrying Sarah away late last night. From his description, the perpetrators sound exactly like the men from last time. What? Raimi has recovered, but final authority now lies with you, Edge. Oh. We have to find Sarah. She's one of us now.